uh, was found here at the manor prior to the restoration. Uh, it measures three and three quarter inches or 10 centimeters. Uh, it's leather and once was red in color and it is 16th century. It was hidden behind uh, the wainscot in the chamber of the house here and uh, during the restoration it fell through a crevice uh, down into the great hall. Now I don't know many babies today, or, or toddlers rather, uh, that would uh, fit into this little shoe. Undoubtedly worn by one of Lawrence Washington's 11 children who lived here at Sulgrave Manor in the time of the Tudor monarchs. Maybe it was kicked off, maybe it was hidden deliberately, uh, maybe one of the children lost it, maybe they got a smack for losing their shoe, we don't know of course. But in fact, hidden shoes or concealed shoes are quite common. And there's lots of reasons for this. Uh, sometimes a builder of a house would leave an old shoe in the attic. Um, sometimes they're only hidden deliberately as a sort of uh, good luck item. Um, to ward off evil spirits, uh, even to encourage fertility in a household. But it's something that goes back to the very earliest times and all over the world, not just in this country. Northampton Museum has a concealed shoe index and up to a few years ago, it had 1,900 entries. So if you're interested, uh, get on to Northampton Museum website um, and you'll probably find lots of uh, good uh, information there. What we do know about the shoe is that back in the 1950s, uh, a very well-known and very respected children's historical novelist Cynthia Harnett came to the manor and researched her book here. Uh, the book is called The Stars of Fortune and it's a good read for children interested in uh, and who likes a, a historical story. And she built her, her story around this little shoe.